Not being able to lift your fork or write your name is a daily life thing for many suffering with Parkinson's disease. But a local therapist has an innovative solution. In tonight's Nine Healthline report, Graham Alkins explains how her invention could help millions of people. A task as simple as raising a spoon, nearly impossible for 64-year-old Sarah Hart. Diagnosed with Parkinson's disease nearly two years ago, her uncontrollable tremors are often frustrating and embarrassing. Anxiety exacerbates the tremor, and anytime you get in a situation like that, you know, you just, and it, you know, you, you just feel like you're out of control. Good morning. Here at the Neuromedical Center, Hart was lucky enough to meet occupational therapist Krista Madare. She watched her grandfather suffer through the same disease using modified utensils and pins. I've always wanted to come up with something more and do more. So Madare decided on a glove, one orthotic to replace all the others. We started experimenting with, uh, you know, putting weights on my hands. And our first uh, prototype was two packs of uh, AA batteries strapped to the back of my hand. Five weeks later, the Ready Steady glove was born. It's custom made. It's moldable and fitted to the patient's hand. It does not restrict range of motion. They have full finger, full wrist range of motion. And it's also easily customizable. Different amounts of non-toxic weight can be added or taken away depending on disease state, medication changes, and other factors. For Hart, it's been life changing. It's almost like someone holding your hand. That same spoonful of rice, now much easier to control. Peeling an apple, not a problem. Even threading a needle is possible with a little concentration. It really has potential for a number of different tremor disorders like Parkinson's and essential tremor and even dystonia. It's still in a development phase, really and we're very anxious and excited to see how it works in different people. Production of the custom glove takes less than an hour. Madeira plans to fit as many patients as possible with hopes of one day going global. Krista has just been very compassionate and just very knowledgeable of uh, her field and that she has just uh, designed this for me is just, it's just wonderful. Graham Olkins, WAFB 9 News.